Hey guys, it's John Bedwell Zalgis, and I wanted to come at you today with a really quick little addendum episode of this tutorial series. Now, as you're going through and as you're developing and as you're working on your game, it might become necessary for you to create an executable version of your game so that like people can test it or you can release like an early version of it or whatever, or maybe you're at the end of your project and you want to send it out. So it's a pretty quick, it's super easy. Um, that's why I'm not doing this as a full episode. This is just a really, really quick little thing. So when you have your, your project here, I'm using my speed development project as an example. You just say it's done. Everything's good. Your starting position is set, which actually I don't even know if there is a starting position for this one. Yeah, it's in Forest City. Cool. Uh, <laughs> anyways, uh, Everything's all set, everything's fine, everything's where it needs to be for you to get ready to uh, send out an executable. You just go up to File, and Deployment, and that's going to bring up this little window here. Just choose your settings. Now you have the different platform. If the person who's testing it, or the person who's going to play your game is going to be on Mac, or if you want them to be playing it on their phone, or tablet, or something, or even if they want to play it via... Uh, web browsers with HTML5, you have your different release versions there. We're just doing a Windows. The options down here, exclude unused files. That's super useful if you have like concept tiles or something, some, some assets that you don't actually use in the project. You can click that button and basically it will just not package those into the executable so that'll allow you to sort of save uh save space with the actual download so uh which is super important and something that you need to be thinking about when you're making your game is how big is this going to be because you know you don't want to be overloading people uh the encryption over here honestly i would ignore rpg maker mv's encryption options because they are just not good they're terrible. They're super easy to get around. There are programs out there that allow you to encrypt your images and your audio and everything like that so that people can't be stealing your assets. Um, I'm not going to link to any of them, but a really quick search over the RPG Maker Net forums or uh, just a Google search will sort of will help you find that encryption software. Uh, I highly recommend that you go out and you get encryption software unless you're making a game using just the default tiles which you know well default tiles and default audio and everything like that in which case it's fine whatever if those are out there they're out there uh but if you're using your own custom stuff guys or you're using stuff that you paid for encrypt it just do not use the mv encryption options because again they're terrible so choose where you're gonna Output, I'm just going to output here to documents output. And then you just simply click OK. And give it a little bit to chew through that. And then there you go. It has completely thrown it together. If you go to where your output thing is, there's the game. It's right there. And you can just load that up and, you know, boom. Your game is now playable in every way that it's going to be uh, when the game gets finally released. So, really simple stuff, guys. Not complicated in the slightest, but uh, something that is incredibly important. Because obviously we're not just making games for us to play, you know, <laughs> in our own uh, RPG Maker sort of place. And I guess you can share the RPG maker editable file with other RPG maker, uh, owners so that they can play it that way. But it just makes more sense to be creating executables. And it's one of the big strengths of actually having a piece of software that you paid for that allows you to do that. So, uh, yeah, that was really simple guys. Um, there will be a full tutorial coming next week. I'm not going to tell you what it's on, I'm not going to tell you anything about it because it's a surprise, but, uh, just be looking for that next week. And if you guys like this video, give it a like. If you didn't just don't, 
give it a dislike uh <laughs> consider subscribing and of course just leave a comment down below if you think that there's uh anything that i should cover in my tutorial series or if uh you think that i've done something wrong which has happened in the past uh and you guys can click on some buttons here on the screen to uh, go to other videos or that round thing there to uh, actually subscribe to my channel so that you can be hopefully notified when new videos come out. Okay, guys, have a good one.